World Solar Challenge. It's like the Formula One of solar cars. But there's so much more to this race than just a car. It's pushing to the limit, completely to the edge of engineering. So that's in locked position? Well, it's a locked position. Everything can happen. Oh! Oh my god. Throttle and cruise not responding. Move away from the front. This is a tough race. It is the premier, most difficult, and original solar race in the world. It goes all the way back to 1987, and it's only getting harder. 44 teams from 21 countries are in the far north city of Darwin, Australia. They've brought one-of-a-kind solar-powered vehicles that have taken them years to design and build. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is every two years and we refresh our team for every challenge to design and build the car. It's insane. Years of work. It's showtime. They have only a few days to get their cars ready, practice, and pass criteria inspections. Over the last 20 years, one team has been absolutely dominant. That is Team Vattenfall from the Netherlands. We have competed in nine races. And Stanford from the US is a team that is expected to be a threat this year. They've got a bullet design car and they're one of the youngest teams in the competition. They're almost all undergrads. How much of your life is this car? That's what I want to know. Better question would be, how much of our life isn't this car? <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now it's definitely 100%. Why is it so important to you? Why does it mean that much? Yeah. Um, I think, at least personally, it's beautiful to be able to see something, you know, just more from, from nothing into this big, beautiful thing that we've all done together and being able to do it with a group of complete strangers. This car that we built powered by the sun. Like the levels of ingenious and creativity and just perseverance that our team put in to make this car happen, it, like I, th this is the coolest thing I've ever done. And I'm one of the drivers as well. You're the drivers. How did you get to be such gangster drivers? Well, for sure. <laughs> our hips are small enough. Hey, hey, We're speak, willing speak to for sit. Yourself, okay? <laughs> speak for yourself. We're willing to drive this oven across the outback. So. How hot? It's like a sauna in there. You just you just sweat animal. for hours and hours. What is the driving strategy? I just. <laughs> we got our driver strategy from watching Talladega Nights all together. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Team Michigan is a huge crew, and they have a very high-tech car that they're pretty secretive about. This is their 11th World Solar Challenge, and they have never taken home the trophy. But they think their time has come. We know our car is the best. We are almost certain. When you look at the critical performance characteristics of a, of a solar car, aerodynamics, solar array, and the efficiency of the internal electrical system, we have the best car in the world in all three. Get through. Modifications, no matter how simple, can be stressful and risky. With the clock ticking and only the tools they brought from home, Stanford is in for a long, sleepless night fixing their car. We could whip it out and bondo over it. If you think that's better, we can do that. Getting to Australia is the first goal. Getting to the start line is the second goal. And then the adventure of driving all the way across Australia through the, through the sacred heart of this ancient land. It's a great spiritual journey. My friends have, have told me, like, you're, you're crazy. Why are you doing this? Why are you spending 80 hours a week in that shop, you know, with those people on that car? Uh, and I think the, the answer is, and I have to keep reminding them and I have to keep reminding myself, we're trying to be the best in the world. We're pushing up against not just limits of, you know, what our competition can do, but also just the limits of the technology. And that requires tremendous sacrifice. 
The stakes are high for these teams. In addition to the competition, this may be their best chance at getting noticed by the biggest energy and tech companies in the world. It's kind of like a giant job interview. And this event has launched a lot of careers. Hello, how are you? I did my PhD in Australia, so I'm really interested in meeting the team from the University of Western Sydney. From what I'm hearing, they're kind of a dark horse this year. Tell, tell me about the day, what's going on? Uh, we've had ups and downs today. Obviously we had a motor controller get a bit hot because we were on track for a while and we we're, we're sending it a little bit too quick. We're out here having a good time on track. The driver's having a blast and um, one guy just got a little bit too excited with the throttle. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, representing the homeland, it's funny. Um, you know, having a lot of the uh, international people come over and look, we have a bit more fun than we probably should telling them about, you know, <laughs> telling them about the venomous kangaroos. There's nothing uh, funnier than watching someone from a foreign country look at a kangaroo and ask you if that's the venomous type to watch out for. <laughs> One, two, three. We have switched up our uh, like solar cell technology type, so we were previously running a silicon cell. Incoming. This year we've moved to gallium arsenide, which is a space grade cell used on projects like the Hubble telescope. Unlike the solar panels used on your roof, made from inexpensive and plentiful silicon, gallium arsenide cells are far more efficient. However, they are also more than a thousand times more expensive to produce, which is why we normally only see them in space. But I think what really distinguishes the, uh, the winners is the team itself. Hold the front. You got it? You know, we call ourselves a family. Um, we don't call ourselves a team. Yes, obviously you have to have a good car, that goes without saying, but having a good team is what wins a race. From what I'm hearing, there are several other teams that everyone is keeping an eye on. Sonnenwagen from Germany has an extremely well-engineered car and a robust team. Top Dutch is a first-time entry from the Netherlands, but looking at their car, there's nothing freshman about it. It's impressive. And Team Twente, also from the Netherlands. They have the most compact car in the competition, and thanks to Vattenfall, that Dutch pedigree, which always makes the engineering world take notice. In just a few hours, the World Solar Challenge launches into the outback. Peter, you're good to go. Almost all the teams have found their way through scrutineering and have run a timed lap around the track to determine their starting position. Bright and early, teams will head out. Leading the way will be Top Dutch, Sonnewagen, and Kogakuen from Japan. Behind them in fourth position, Agoria from Belgium, and then Solar Team Twente from the Netherlands, and Takai, also from Japan. With 2,000 miles of perilous desert in front of them, and only the sun to push them through, 